Okay, got a new battery, so we'll pick up where we left off. So these Romas have produced beautiful, uh, big plant or fruits. I mean, those are very nice, very big, meaty, and excellent for um, cooking, canning. But a lot of them are on the ground, and um, so they're. It's been kind of difficult to get to them and stuff, but that's. Uh, something next year we're definitely not gonna i don't think we're gonna put anything in the middle put them all in there plus the other thing is that um it's hard to get to that side and get to this side but I have to reach through three feet of corn to get to that one and the same thing over here reaching through these things has been quite a pain so i definitely don't think i'm going to do this setup definitely not like it is um, next year if i did i'd have to do something totally different but probably i'll just put them on the fence line here so it's like this very nice and neat and you can get access both sides and pick the tomatoes on this side and the other side so um, and here the Amish paste huge big laying down and then you can see that um, there's some red ones there and some of them the black cherry that made it there um, the corn's coming in um, it's tassel that's got the stuff going there's some ears forming looks like they all have one ear so hopefully that'll be okay there then um, their eggplants are still kicking the oh, there's my what gets to go on the other side here I cannot decapitate myself so the red bell pepper that is the third red bell pepper I've had for them. so I'll probably harvest that one um, today they've been so delicious and sweet and fantastic this basil is doing fantastic here. We've got lots of holes in our eggplant, but they're still producing just fine. Um, the giant um, squash here has really, really receded. And it's weird how this hole has opened up here. Just like in the front, there was a big hole in the canopy. And it's kind of completely fallen back. Um, I noticed it last week, and I kind of left it alone just to see what it would do. Um, and because there was all these fruits on here and they are getting a little bigger but in one week you know normally these guys would have produced a dozen you know at the peak season but they are still that one's getting bigger um over here there is one that's actually needs to be harvested and it's this very interesting it's happened at the end of the season last year if you can see there it's not yellow it's yellow and green and i don't know exactly what is happening there but that is what happens at the end of the season with those flecks of green. So, anyway, it's very interesting, but that's what goes on. Um, you can see the cantaloupe from this side over there. You can see the big shiny eggplant um, from there. The beans are pretty much done. I should just need to pull them out, I think. There's not going to be any more from then. We've got still getting some more chard. Kale, um, red char there, and then we have some okra still going there, um, and then over here, still got our <laughs> onions and carrots still surviving, all rainbow chard. Really gotta beat this back to keep our, um, Little Thai basil plants there. That red pepper's kind of fallen there. There's our okra. Basil, basil, basil. So we have plenty of pesto. There's our other little Thai basil plants that I planted. I don't think they're gonna make much happen. I planted them really late in the season just to see what would happen. Just so we know for next year. Kind of when the last day to re sow is. This zucchini plant um, is still alive. It's definitely had some weird stuff happen to it. it. Still has a fruit on it. But that fruit's been on there. Oh, there's two now for quite some time. So I'm not sure. Um, normally they don't last that long and they grow. So I'm not sure if they're really a true good fruit or just some weird mutant thing. But this thing's still going. And still kicking out. So there's another one. I'll get that. It's very huge. 
um, but it keeps growing. So as long as they keep growing, I'll keep um, keep harvesting. So I just pulled one off of there, another one, giant one like that, just a couple days ago. So it's about you know one or two two a week, um, but you know still there. So here with the sunlight and stuff, you can see the the tomatoes a little easier. Um, so those red cherries, those little currants, just they're so tiny. Um, and then the big ones, the big ones there, and then up here, yeah. And uh, definitely won't plant the tomatoes so close next year, or even allow them to grow as volunteers that close, because it gets very, very time-consuming to hunt and for those tomatoes in the wall of vegetation. But anyway. That is um, what we have going on here in the garden. Um, hopefully we'll have several more weeks before the frost hits and we'll be able to continue to uh, enjoy all this, especially the tomatoes. We've been enjoying the bounty there and doing something with them every week, some sort of a canning or cooking project and uh, it's worked out pretty well. So anyway, that is um, it for the third week in September. Thanks for watching.